So the good people at Undandy contacted me to make an unboxing video and I'm excited to show you what I created. Let's go. What is going on my YouTube friends? Welcome to today's video. My name is Richard from Assemble Style and if you're new here, welcome. In this channel we cover everything from men's fashion, lifestyle and just self-improvement overall. So if you're about that, consider subscribing and for my returning subs guys welcome back you guys know i love hearing from you guys so please make sure to comment and like this video anyways let's get to it now for those of you who are unfamiliar with the brand on dandy it's a made to order shoe company that allows you to customize your own shoes and you know the amount of like options that you have it's completely overwhelming because you can do so many things you can choose many different styles you know colors fabrics toe shape sole and much more now for me, I wanted to create something that's very easy to wear, but at the same time, you know, it's a little bit different and bold from what I have in my current shoe collection because these are custom shoes after all, so why not make them unique? So for this video review, I decided to go with a Chelsea boot that has a gray patina finish, a light gray elastic band, a chiseled toe, and black rubber soles because this is gonna be a very casual shoe. All right, when I open these, I can smell that fresh painted leather. You guys know what I'm talking about here, that new shoe smell. And another cool addition is that I also added my channel name on the bottom of the shoe, as you guys can see. And I was really surprised by this because, you know, when I first looked at it, I thought it was just like a stamp that's gonna easily come off, but it's actually, you know, carved in there or engraved. First impression, it looks exactly what I created online, all the way down to the patina finish, which is quite impressive if you ask me. I will say that I'm not too dandy about this little yellow pull tab that they added here. This was not on the 3D model while I was creating the shoe. And I know that yellow is like their signature color, so they keep the inside of the shoe. I don't think it's painted. The lining is painted at all. I think it's just the natural finish of the leather. But yeah, this little yellow pull tab, like it's so small, so I could barely fit my finger on here in this thing. So yeah, that's one thing that I'm not feeling about the shoe, but I could probably, you know, do something to darken that. But yeah, the little yellow pull tab, mm, not a big fan. Now moving on to quality and comfort. These shoes are made out of genuine calf leather from Portugal, and they feel very soft, it's very flexible. And it, I want to say that it's, I, I feel like it's slightly more thinner than my other dress shoes. So I'm curious how these things will hold up over time. Now as for comfort, it was definitely there right out of the box because, you know, like I said before, this leather is very soft, it's very flexible. And I was a bit worried they were going to be a little too tight on me because, you know, just looking at the toe box and all the way down, it's very narrow. I guess, you know, that's what happens when you choose a chiseled toe. But really had no issues when I'm trying it on and it's also true to size. As for the construction of the shoe, these shoes do have a Blake Stitch construction and you know after doing a few reviews of like other made to order companies, Blake Stitch construction seems to be the standard. Turnaround time to get these shipped to my door, it took about two and a half weeks which to me that is very 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 quick for a custom shoe. You know I do have some other shoes that I ordered uh, made to order shoe and that's that's taken like already three months so far so two and a half weeks for custom shoes that's awesome that's almost the same amount of time wait time of you know ordering a custom shirt or suit now as for pricing it varies on the style of your shoe and of course the finish along with other you know customization options such as like you know different fabrics and materials but this shoe right here came out to about 265 dollars with you know express shipping so not not a bad price for custom made shoes now i do plan on creating a follow-up video to see how these things hold up but i think it's a pretty cool concept you know to have an online service to create you know your own custom shoes you know create it however you want and if you're like you know if you want something you know unique and out there or you're just looking for something very specific then you know this is a good route to go with I always wanted a gray shoe in my collection and I always wanted a patina finish and that is very difficult to find in storage so you know Undandy you know came through with this one. But anyways guys stay tuned for that follow up video because I do plan on wearing these a lot and I want to give a huge huge thank you to the people at Undandy for reaching out to me to make this video for you guys. But yeah guys that wraps up today's video thank you guys for watching once again and if you got something and you found it helpful please make sure to give me a thumbs up as well. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. And yeah, guys, see you guys next video. Peace.